Ja, ja, maar ik kom voor me kom, kom hier mee jongen, wel. Ik zeg wat? Ja, maar ik kom voor me kom hier mee jongen. Not only 10 million, but all. Intellectual property. Yep. TBI, we're about to do an interview right now. Miss Mo Mobita Johnson. Incredible story. Um, former state rep, former victim advocate for the district attorney's office. And victim herself, two of her sons were murdered. And she's still fighting for justice and for reforming the system. And don't want the people that took her sons to serve life. And today we'll be hearing from her on DVI Live. Welcome to the Charles Foundation. Thank you. Appreciate Welcome the invite. I bought this building just to do the work. That's it. So the whole first floor is the food pantry. I got a cat, so I got the door closed so she can't yeah, get out. Yeah. These are freezers, and this is all food for the community. I do we, six I, months. I used to do food distribution the, every Monday, like through COVID. When I came home from jail, right. I came home with full blown COVID on april 6th of 2020 oh she like you hey. she's very affectionate she smelled my cat okay Bella. stop it pretty girl i got out of bed the day before my birthday april 20th and i was back on the street march may 5th and we fed over 200,000 families from this wow side since 2000 that's all unsolved murders in philadelphia and 90% of them, I know their mothers. Wow. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of DBI Live. Today, we have a very special guest. I've been trying to get on the show again since the last interview she did. People have been requesting to hear more about your book, Philadelphia Stand Up. Even though she don't need no introduction, I will tell you her name, Miss Mobita. Johnson, welcome to DVI Live. Suave, the man with the plan. How you doing, Suave? I'm good. I'm good. But the question is, how you doing? A lot been going on. Your book is out. People been reading it. Positivity and resurrection. Because the phoenix is a beautiful bird. It goes through pain and trauma. It crashes to the earth and bursts into flames and dies. And then it is reborn. And every time it is reborn, it is more beautiful than it was before it actually perished. Right? So that is, that's been my life. Die and reborn. Die and reborn right but also if you see it's a backdrop of the philadelphia skyline and it's a sea of blood and on top of that is a hand with a gun and, and it's the gun of choice in urban homicide the nine millimeter right but there's been a lot of controversy about the hand that's holding the gun the hand that's holding the gun is white and people have actually questioned me, why is the hand white? It's black people killing black people. Why is the hand white? It's brown people killing brown people. Well, the hand is white because it's systematic injustice, right? Because I fight for people on both sides of the gun, but we know that it's racial inequality and the social determinants that lead to community violence. And at the top of that list is poverty and racism, right? But if you open the book, I've been very intentional about everything about this book. When you open my book, people, you will see that the font is larger, that the spacing is larger, and that is to make it easy to read. Here's the thing. I have PTSD and I have depression. And the older I get, the more difficult it is for me to read. So I wanted to make the book easy for people who have difficulty reading to read it. And it's about 350 pages long and it's really intense. Where do people get the book? People can get the book on Amazon. Um, you can go to my website. All of my social media is Movita Johnson Harrell. My website is MovitaJohnsonHarrell.com. You can go and see the amazing work that we do with young people in the community to keep them from the cemetery and the carceral at the CharlesFoundation.com. What is the next chapter in Movita's life? Oh, I'm excited. So right now um, I've halted all my travel because 
My daughter, my 31 year old daughter went into end stage renal failure at 28 years old. She needs a kidney because of her trauma when Charles was murdered in 2011. Um, so I am in the process of giving my daughter a kidney, so I stopped my travel, but I am on an international book tour this year. I've been to Nigeria, I've been all over the country, I am booked for Paris, London, Johannesburg. In fact, um, they asked me to do a TED Talk in South Africa, so I'm booked to be out of the country. Once this surgery happened and I heal, I'm out. Um, so I'm all over the country. People can follow me. You know, if you want books, if you got transitional housing programs, recovery houses, um, any kind of housing program that promotes people, that helps people to get their lives together, I will send you books for your program. I also have a workbook that I created with this. And while Suave said it reads like a hood novel, it is my real life. This is my life, right? And, and I talk about my life, but the final chapter talks about ascension. And it literally gives you a roadmap on how to rise from your own ashes.